A Southwest Florida baby turns one month old today, but had it not been for his mom's quick thinking, he might not be here. Only Wink News anchor Channing Frampton shows us how counting the kicks could save your baby's life. Brianna Jikrin is a new mom. Months ago, her doctor told her she was experiencing a high risk pregnancy. Around 20 weeks, she started counting her baby's kicks. Oh, something could have gone wrong and I'm very happy that I did it. <laughs> she believes that counting saved her son's life. Nancy Travis, who is the director of Women and Neonatal Services at Cape Coral Hospital, says more moms need to be doing what Jikerin did. You know, if she had not come in, it could have been disastrous for her and for, you know, just terrible for the baby. And they recommend using an app like this, Count the Kicks, at 28 weeks to keep track of everything. It's pretty simple. You just open the app and it asks you how many babies you're counting for, select one, and then you can count away. Babies show us that they're having some signs of distress by how active they are in the in the mom's belly. And that's exactly what Jikera noticed when her baby went from kicking 10 times an hour to just four. I asked her what she thinks would have happened if she hadn't been keeping track. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. That's why both she and Travis say new moms should be using this tool. He is a lucky little boy. But this is some, one piece of advice that really needs to be listened to. Advice Jikerin says she's thankful for as her little boy lives a healthy life. To make sure that everything is okay, it's just a reassuring thing. And Jikerin's not the only mom with a counting story to tell. All of the babies found on the Count the Kicks website have special stories with them. We've included a link to it in the Wink News app, along with tips to keep your baby healthy.